Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to bring you these hula hoops that I'm calling rings and they are so easy and simple to make. Here are some of the supplies you will be needing to make these three ring hula hoops. You want to start off by cleaning your ring hula hoops, just removing tags and removing the connective tape. Once you remove the connective tape, you're going to open the connector and remove the pebbles that are inside the hula hoop. I would say this is one of the easier steps to just spray paint. If you come across having to turn your hula hoop, use a skewer and that will help you kind of grasp it from the bottom and flip it around. We will start off with the flower ring. This one we will be needing a foam or a noodle and you'll need two pieces. You'll need an 18 inch and a 12 inch. Once you've cut your 18 inch, make sure you cut horizontally so that way there will be some space for the hula hoop to latch on. We will be adding the flowers directly to the noodle or the foam and we will not be needing any hot glue. So as you can see, all we do is cut about two inches down from the stem and we add it on. All the flowers were purchased at Hobby Lobby and the links will be in the description box down below. We'll be starting on our second foam or noodle and we will be adding the flowers just like we did on the previous one and I did do the 18 inch first and this is the 12 inch now. I wanted to add a pop of color so I ended up buying these little small flowers and I added them and I love the way it looked. As you can see, I had started doing my flowers on my noodles first, so at this point I had to remove them. Once you have your hula hoop painted and dried, you can add your noodle back on your hula hoop and you can add some more flowers on the back. I did have some extra white flowers. Make sure you cover that connector and that way you don't have that showing on your display. For the base, you will be needing some sort of wood. I used a scrap wood from an old shelf that I threw out and I kept this part of the wood. And so what we did is we measured 12 by 12 and then cut it. On your back hula hoop, what you want to do is make sure you put the connector right on the bottom because if you do add a cake or something in the middle, it'll cover your connector. This is a finished product. It turned out so beautiful and it just looks stunning at the event. 
I was so amazed at how beautiful it turned out to be. I enjoyed it very much and I hope you guys do too. And I hope you recreate it. The second hula hoop I am calling the gift hula hoop. It's for your gift designated area and it will put a special touch on that gift table. to tape it down was masking tape and fishing wire especially on the eye I just put fishing wire around the hula hoop and attached it to the back of the poster board Allow it to dry for a few minutes until it's dry to the touch and this is your finished product. I hope you guys liked it and recreate it. Now on to the third hula hoop which I'm calling the picture hula hoop which is so beautiful and easy. I did not have any ribbon so I used what I had and I love to do this with my crafts. Just go into my craft room and see what I have. For the gluing, it was a little tricky since it is satin, so just be careful with the temperature of your glue and where you want to place your ribbon. For the flowers, I added some leftover greenery and flowers that I had, and this is where you want to put your pictures at your event. I added some of my pictures here, as you can see. I hope you guys liked it and recreated it yourself. Thanks for watching and happy DIYing! If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Also, give it a thumbs up so I know you liked this video. Please follow me on my Instagram at imadeitofficial18. 